Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we are back for some more Pathfinder Kingmaker on Last Islanti and Unfair. So, we are currently basically waiting for the next development on the Ancient Curse Part 6. I don't think there's anything else we can do right now other than exploring uh, Tenebra Steps or just continuing with Kingdom Management. And it has been brought to my attention, and I thank you for that. I'm always learning and remembering things <laughs> that I have forgotten. Um, I have been discussing for some time the point of upgrading uh, regions. Uh, thinking that it would only be for this, but that's not actually true. It appears that in order to get the, um, the masterpiece item from the artisans, you have to at least upgrade their region once. So, I've been actually kind of looking at the masterpieces that I want, and I believe the most important ones for me are going to be the North Narl Marshes, and to th then to a lesser extent, Silver Step, South Narl Marshes, and the Outskirts. So, first of all, I'm actually going to upgrade something into a town. Are you a town already? Yes, you are. So I guess I can upgrade... Uh, let me think. You are a village. I'm not sure if I need to upgrade Bokken's Alchemical Shop to get his masterpiece as well. I think it might actually not even be <coughs> strictly necessary. But it helps in unlocking the next tier of the artisan items. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the south one. I'll upgrade this. And now we can enter and build an aviary, which we also want to do. And essentially, we want to upgrade the shops here. So Shania's shop, or oh, just upgrade this. Uh, we don't need this one. Doesn't We don't require this upgrade for the city. Uh, this one for the armor shop, also upgraded. Okay, so this should be a, a good starting point for unlocking the next tier items from those artisans. And I think that's all I want from here. And now, I'm going to upgrade, hopefully, a North Narl Marshes region. So this is Dunsward. Uh, this one doesn't say... Varnhold. Varnhold. I don't know what the Candlemere Tower counts as. Silver Step. All around the River Kingdoms. Oh, sorry, Silver Step. Jesus, Silver Step again. Oleg. I can upgrade this. Try and get Oleg's masterpiece. Uh, Bokken's masterpiece, I mean. Uh, doesn't say. North Narl Marshes, okay. Damn it, you are busy. Okay, so I need Harem. In 13 days. And what are the ones I have available? So Dunsward, don't know. Varnhold, Varnhold. And Silverstep. And don't know. Silverstep I can also use. We get a nice ring as a masterpiece. I guess I can do it. This one. Uh, any village buildings in this one? It, it doesn't do much for me though. Anything else in Silverstep? Silverstep. Attract jewelry makers to the region. I don't know what this does. Um, and silver step. Providing more divine and more arcane. Okay, so it doesn't really matter too much. That's this one. Eh. Uh. Project complete here. Okay, good. New event, the relic. Opportunity. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, harem is six more days. So I can rank somebody up in the meantime. And 
the the tier unlocks for the artisans are also tied to the current rank of a specific stat. All of ours are pretty high already, so we're on a good way of getting more um, items. I guess I can upgrade you on espionage, because other than you, I have the counselor, the regent is seven, and the warden is six. Okay. Let's do this. Success. Damn you. It's an opportunity, and you've... Why? God damn it, man. Okay, so this is done. Uh, opportunity and problem. Regions, trading ground, training grounds, Glenabon. Okay. okay. Let's check out what people want. This is a choice. Lose relations, gain espionage, gain espionage, lose BP. I'll gain espionage and lose BP. Sure. Min or Mim. Colossus Ring. Vest of Mirrors. Okay, what are these? The Colossus Ring plus two luck bonus to Constitution and the ability to enlarge person twice per day as a first level wizard. <coughs> I mean, <coughs> the luck bonus is kind of fun, but that's it. Vest of Mirrors. If the wearer has Bardic Performance, it can use it for four additional rounds per day. It can also cast Displacement. It's just money. So success here. Uh, let's put some people on these. <clears throat> Military, go. The price of a soul, go. It's a problem. Do I care about this? No. <clears throat> 65 should be enough. We have a rank up and I wanted to upgrade the North Gnarl Marshes region. Uh, here, I think. Yep. Needing Harem. I'm going to buy some BP in case something happens. I don't want to go below a good amount. We are rolling poorly. Okay, Triumph here, good. What is this? Ah, Airsteel's favor. Yeah, two sacred bonus to attack and damage against animals and magical beasts. Sure. <clears throat> so that upgrade is done. Uh, okay, so let me just cross this off on my notebook here. The North Nardle Marshes are done. And I think I also did the one for the, for Silver Step, right? God, am I going to have to... Damn it. I think I, I forgot. Or was it Oleg's? I don't remember. Uh, okay, in any case. So, trading ground, or, yeah, trading ground. Uh, is there no other one for him? Come on. Uh, uh, Glenabon. Candlemere, Varnhold, Varnhold. Okay, I guess I have to go for this one then. 300 BP, come on. Uh, I'm gonna check to see if there's something else I can do for this... Um, for upgrading Oleg's area. I was unsuccessful in understanding what I need to do. Um, so I guess I'll just do this. It's so much money. If, if this is not worth it, I'm gonna be upset.
Okay, so we're also done with the outskirts. Now, I want something in the south Nautil Marshes. Glenabon... Uh, huh? This is Pitax, okay. Dunsward. Uh, don't know. Varnhold, Varnhold. I wonder if this is counted as south Nautil Marshes. The Candlemere Tower, because Candlemere Tower is over here, which should be part of the South Narl Marshes. Okay, so I'll do that one. Mm -hmm. What is this? Okay, Triumph here. Oh, plus three bonus resolve opportunity with Magister. Why is this repeated six times? I don't know. <laughs> Opportunity. Opportunity. 40%. Damn. Problem. Take two coins, I guess. Opportunity. You can take this one, or do I want to take this one? This one. Okay, as for <clears throat> time remaining, 61 day. Oh. Yeah, so 61 days. I'm just gonna keep waiting on this. Who do I want to rank up? I can rank up Espionage again. Okay, that's good. So I would want to have a Kundayo busy. Uh, sorry, not busy. Okay, so you guys can go. Uh, start, 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 and start. I will just check out to see if I'm getting any kind of artisan items. We are. And then we'll rank up again. Chain breakers, chain mail. Okay. Oh, the <clears throat> I think this is the masterpiece. The Ambrosial Attire of Arcane Annihilation. Thank you. Hey, so he didn't give me the low level robe I wanted, but he gave me the masterpiece. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, so this item, it is the masterpiece of that artisan. This robe grants its wearer a plus four bonus to attack rolls with ray attacks, plus one damage per dice to fire, acid, force, cold, that is his spells, and a plus four bonus to spell penetration. Uh, so, f as much as I love my Dark Master's robe, it's it's gonna go out. It makes me sad though. I like this so much. God damn it, man! I'm gonna lose two charisma. Well, it's okay. I I rather have all of these bonuses, especially the plus damage per dice rolled. We're gonna have plus three damage per dice now, uh, with the bloodline, the necklace, and the robe. Doesn't look as cool. Very very sadly for me. And does anybody want this, is the question, right? Because she has the one with perception right now. Which isn't really the best thing we can do. This is just for the skill checks. Uh, I could give her this, but to no great uh, benefit. What was the other robe? By the way, what did I... Ah, he gave me this one as well. Don't care about that. Uh, there was another robe I wanted on her. I forget which one it was. Ah, oh, no, I remember, I remember. It's the... Um, Robo True Master, yeah. This is the one I like as well. Mm hmm For now, I guess, keep Integrity. <coughs> uh, not Integrity. Robo of Eyes, so you can try to perceive more stuff. Yeah, I'm very happy about this masterpiece as well. Very nice, very nice. Um, And now we are going to go and rank up Mr... Um, Ekundayo. Level 4 in espionage. Success. Success. Problem. Okay, good, decent chances here. And the hungry vassal, good chances as well. Time, 54 days. You are currently at rank 8. 
eight. Uh, seven. Six. Seven and six. I will also check if I need any specific stat for a masterpiece item. Okay, there's actually quite a few. It seems like economy, military are the, the more common ones, and then also loyalty, it seems. Uh, you are at rank 8, so I think you're fine for now. I think there's a, a, a breakpoint at military 9 also. I don't believe I need arcane any higher than this. Culture, I think it's also fine. Loyalty, I do want to increase it, but I can't right now. And relations... Are... Damn it, I also need it. Okay, so what's the lowest one? This one. Okay. You suck, woman. Good. Good. I think I will do this soon. Let's just check out the throne room again. God damn it. Everything is about paying per week. We gain loyalty but lose a lot of money. We gain loyalty and lose stability. Pfft. Yeah, I'll pay, sure. Sacrificing safety is folly. Yep. I agree. It also fits into our lawful goods <coughs> way of playing. Master peace. Master peace. No. Ooh. Begin making your great weapon. Okay. Ah, uh, what did we get, by the way? Sorry. Um, we got... Menace. Dueling sword plus three. Yeah, I don't care about it. That's just money. So, opportunity. And opportunity. I guess you can go. I can rank up the Warden further. I'm gonna rank up... Damn it. I'm gonna rank up Lindsay. Okay. So, you guys can go. Jeez. Ah. Uh. Uh, I, for I forgot to start leveling him up. Throne room, let's see. A new event only, okay. Okay, so we're actually getting 61 BP per week. Because our economy is so strong right now. Um, okay, so problem here. Problem here. Coin. And opportunity. Uh, I guess you have to go for this one now. Okay, so let's go. 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 And go. 40 days still. So the next rank up will be Warden is level 7, Treasurer is level 8, General is level 8, and then the Regent is level 7? I'm gonna rank you up. Good. Kind of speedrunning <laughs> kingdom management here. I'll just exhaust the dialogue here in case that we get some other options, but I don't think we do. 
Uh, we have chaotic good, we have chaotic neutral, we have lawful neutral, and we have lawful evil. Let's go for Abadar then. It's the one closest to our um, alignment. Artisan item. Divine support. No clue what it is. This belt grants its weather 3 deflection bonus to AC, don't care. Negative energy resistance 10, don't care. And ability cast banishment spell once per day as a don't care also. It is 42,000 gold. Which I'm happy to receive. Immunity to fear. Uh, the fog cannot be dealt with right now, but we will have time for it. We can rank you up again. Oh. Did I mess this up? I didn't fail the quest. I still had time for it. What? It's still here. And I'm fine in terms of time for this. What the hell was that? Huh. Okay. Maybe it's just something that happens until we deal with the bald hilltop again? New event, cult sacrifice. Come on, rod of fire thingy. Lady. It is the second time that I have specifically requested a rod and you brought me a wand. Ah, uh, give me a second. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what's up because she's bringing me items of the same tier as the rod that I want. But I have requested two times already. Specifically, rod. It's even the only grayed out item. Um, uh, option and she's bringing me wands and scrolls why give me a rod woman god damn it mm, that doesn't matter for me i don't think i just want the masterpieces now yeah man what who cares about this it's a plus three full plate with three extra wisdom. And the ability to cast angelic aspect spell once per day is at ninth level wizard. Okay, it's just money. Right, now, I guess by the look of it, I'm gonna get another one of those uh, fog penalties. Because I can't go for the fog just yet. We have to wait at least six days until Rigongar is free. So, Cult Sacrifice, uh, you can take a coin for it. The Mercenary Army is an opportunity. I guess you can go. And then... No, actually, you have to go for this one. Ooh, my god. Okay. And Contagious Madness, I'm just going to roll with the 55%. Okay, so go here. Take two coins. I'm spending a lot of coins. And this one will have to wait. And I'm gonna rank up so we can get Rigongar free, so we can take care of the fog. Uh, okay, let me check again. So rank 7 is community. I want loyalty. I hate you. Opportunity. The fog. Fifty. Take a coin. I'm. 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 I'm afraid that this particular event, if we cannot resolve it, it's gonna keep on bringing me negative stats. So I'm gonna try and increase my chances a little bit. 
And the mercenary army, you can take care of it. Okay, so everybody has a job to do. I will just speak with the counselor first. Really? Thank you, Tristian. I love you. Just nuking my barony. Master peace. Master peace. No. <laughs> Master peace. Master peace. No. We got Swift Blow, plus four great sword that deals an additional 2d6 electricity damage. Nice. And you can cast Umbral Strike spell once per day. I don't think I care about this, it's just gold. And then Utopia is a plus five two-handed spear. Holy Undead Bane. And we can cast Good Hope three times per day, okay. As a 12th level bard, that's nice. And plus three sacred bonus initiative checks. That's 50,000 gold. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of gold. That is a lot of gold. Uh, okay, so the merchant conspiracy. Ah, damn it. What is this? Opportunity. Okay, so we're gonna swap here. Oops. 70%. Let's bring it up, since it was like a, a specific event that we got. And this one will just go for her. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have 19 days. I can maybe kind of push it. And get another rank up here. We're gonna go down to 12 days remaining. It should still be fine. Or it shouldn't be too bad at least. 8, 8, 7, 6, 7. Okay, go for you. Deadly fog again. God. Okay, yeah, it, it... Two days passed, it was enough for me to get all of this negative stuff. God damn it, man. Ch Can somebody bring me good news, please? Thank you, Valerie. Oh, and I have nobody available, really. Busy for 13 days, 13 days, and... So, Jubi, Lindsay, and Ekundayo. They're all busy for so long. Opportunity. It means a failure. Whatever. You have to go for this. Okay. And this is very suggestive of what we're going to be found, uh, finding in the Bald Hilltop. Hunting the Wild Hunt, we're going to be dealing with Wild Hunt enemies. I can do this, because he's not needed anywhere else. And I can also do this. Okay. Okay, so you can go. And you can go. Juby is busy. <clears throat> Alright, so, let's go and check out the bald hilltop. I find this one to be easier than the previous one. Mandragoras really are like the bane of my existence, honestly. And... Are we done with all the relics? Because the relics option is gone. Interesting. Uh, these enemies should not be as tough. They are still not to be trifled with. But it's... I can see. It doesn't cause me so such um, as much grief as the Mandragoras. I should have rested. I only have one charge of my nice rods here. 
We should still be fine, though. Okay, so you guys have your things. It's the correct lineup. Uh, so the main thing to get here is going to be... Um, why do I always forget the name? Echolocation is what we really want. Well, not even want, we need echolocation for this fight. Because wild ant enemies will paralyze with gaze attacks. And we don't want that. Focus on the goal. All right. So you can turn off your rod for now. This is an extend rod. You also got a new rod, a quicken one. You can turn it off. You no longer need to remove your armor. Haha. <laughs> Let's buff up all the way. I'm gonna check if I can put this on my mod again or if I still can't. This is a level 6 spell. And why is this, again, why is this happening? It's so strange. What? Cancel, what the hell is going on? Okay, save queue. That's weird, okay. Caster Cordampina, spell level six. This one. And target the caster. Finish. Save queue. Save and close. Did it work? Okay. Seems to have worked. Medium duration. Well, she did use it. You are still casting Reduce Person, but now we do need Echolocation. So it needs to go to Knock Knock. Um, you have Blind Fight, you have Blind Fight. I'm gonna give it to my Leopard as well. And then to my main character. And to Cordon P. If you get paralyzed, well... Things happen. Archon's Aura. Uh, I, I should have gotten this out first, I forgot. Might as well go all out. <laughs> More summons! Yeah, two wyverns. Um, I want my Guarded Earth. We have to go a little bit closer, actually. Just turn this on. Uh, what? Can I not select this one? I can't. Okay, weird. Let's move up a bit. Okay, so let's get my Guarded Earth over here. And we will now go for our short duration buffs as well as legendary proportions. So you take it. You take it. Good. Let's drink our mutagens. I will get stone skin communal because I'm expecting archers as well here. And now, I want Displacement on my Leopard, Greater Invis on you, Greater Invis on you, Greater Invis on Knock Knock, and on yourself. 
and on Cordon Pina, because why not? As well as Juvi. We're gonna get a burst of glory. We are going to get an extended haste. And I'm, I think there's also going to be a Fey enemy. I'm also going to go for a Shield of Law on everybody. Let's sing the song of our people and let it play. Oh, by the way, let me also get Sense Vitals. And you can also get Bomber's Eye. And you can turn this on before I forget. And I think that's all. Okay, so Wild Hunt Scouts and Archers, they are aiming at the Wyvern, perfect. And again, these guys will have the Gaze attack, Wild Gaze over there. It doesn't say here, does it say down here? Uh, wild Gaze, yeah, so just a refresher. Um, wild Hunt enemies have Wild Gaze. So humanoids and monstrous humanoids that fail their saves are dazed and paralyzed, while animals and magical beasts become panicked for 2d6 rounds. All other creatures are confused. Succeeding at a save against any Wild Gaze attack, even a monarch's never grants immunity to the monarch's Wild Gaze attack. So, uh, Blind Fight and Echolocation will make you immune to this, and it is crucial for these fights to have it on. Okay, so I want to have everybody uh, in the Guarded Artifacts. I'm actually going to send my people to try and pressure the archers. I don't want them to focus my backline. And the Wyvern can just stay here, I think. I want Cordon Pina to kind of get closer because of the Frightful Aspect. Jubilost is inside the area. You can target this guy. And I can go over here. And this should be good enough. Let's pay attention to see if there's something that I don't want to happen happening. And I guess I can summon Squirrels. Right? Furious Squirrels. Yeah, let's get them on. Just move you over there. Okay. Uh, ooh, Slay Living on who? The Leopard? On the Leopard. I don't like Slay Living. And these bitches can do it on their, on their shots as well. <sighs> Change of plans, we're gonna try and heal the Leopard. If he doesn't die to this. Did he die? No, he, he lives. We got some more enemies coming. In this case, it's a Wild Hunt Scout. Another one. I'm still just chilling. Uh, target this guy. We're still okay with our enemies here. Okay, we healed the Leopard. Awesome. I'm gonna try and get my Squirrels again. Not that it's necessary, but I find it fun. <laughs> Uh, I'm in range for anything that might be necessary. Okay, so the the father enemies have kind of gone down. Dude, you took eight Constitution damage from the Wyvern's poison. That's kind of amazing. We have Lord Jaegard Sundar. This guy has True Seeing, Wild Gaze as well. 15 damage reduction with the exception of Cold Iron. He's immune to cold, frightened and shaken. And also immune to fear. Okay, let's see how you like this. And I'm gonna have everybody kind of target him. So you, you, you go for him. You target him as well. You can get prone, so it counts. Uh, let's keep with the Squirrel's plan for fun. Uh, move closer. Yeah, Wild Gaze. As we can see, actually, Jubilos saved. But we are all immune to it, so we're fine. Somebody is taking a tremendous amount of damage. I'm not sure who. 
And I'm gonna go for Hellfire Ray with Impromptu Sneak Attack. He is taking... Death is what he's taking. Okay, so he's dead. Don't have to worry about him anymore. And I can just help out with some fireballs, I think. But the main threat of this area has been dealt with. Squirrels, where are you going? I think they got wild guys and they are panicking. Is what's happening. But yeah, we have furious squirrels, my friends. They didn't even bother changing the models. These are just rats. <laughs> but we can say they helped. We can say they helped. Okay, fight done. Let us strike as one. Uh, loot, please. You have what seems to be a two-bladed sword. Twin crystals. This does not deal physical damage. It deals... God knows what damage. Force damage. It's a plus five keen weapon, so increased critical range. And also agile. Nothing too fancy, I would say. Man, I want to check out my damage. I'm always, I always like seeing the damage my main character does. Okay, so we basically shot one Hellfire Ray, and we dealt 135, so 237, 379. 481 600 and something seven okay we dealt above 700 damage with a single cast and what were my roles we were targeting flat-footed because i think we were invisible and outside of his range we still had a 41 attack bonus because of base attack bonus dexterity guarded earth concealment Good Hope, Inspire Courage, Haste, Point Blank Shot, Death from Afar, and the Ambrosial Attire of Arcane Annihilation. I am happy. We are doing very well in terms of our damage capabilities. And my Wyvern dealing 8 Constitution damage there? Well done, dude. And my Leopard also lived. He lived through a slay living. Without a doubt. Okay, so Bald Hilltop is done. The Furious Squirrels don't have a portrait. <laughs> um, the Bald Hilltop event is done. We're gonna go back to our barony. And we basically have to wait for the aftermath of this. And likely we're gonna get a new main quest. Let's go to Tustail. Throne room. I will make sure that I rest, that I actually rest, not just pass time uh, with rank ups and whatnot, because I want to replenish my rods. So let's just, let's just rest right now. Okay, a new attack is coming soon. So we are still not done with the bald hilltop. It just says the way to report. Uh, sorry, and... We have time to prepare for the next attack. Okay. So this one is done. Stripped of feeling. I don't like the red thingy. How much time do I have on Ekundayo? 12 days. Okay, I can just wait. Uh, okay. So, rank ups. God damn it with the, with the fog. Nice. Good. The fog is done. Or it should be done at least. <clears throat> Check out throne room. This should be from the rank up. Yep. Uh... Get loyalty, get relations, unrest state improves. It doesn't actually improve because we are at maximum. Or we can gain 250 BP. 
This gives me loyalty in relations, so... Uh, announce that all those unwilling to become a slave to Razmir must unite. Yeah. Okay, that was all. So still no bald hilltop uh, aftermath. Uh, problem. Easily resolved. Problem. Somewhat easily resolved. Still waiting on this. Five days. Problem. It came from under the ground. Ah, come on. So maybe you go here. And the charm... Dude. Why is everything with Rigongar, man? This one I can send Lindsay. Okay, so go. 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 And you, I cannot do just yet. Nor you. Okay, so new rank up. She is now occupied, but she is at rank 8. You are also occupied. Rank 7, let's go up to rank 8. We're gonna get the report now. Okay, Ancient Curse Part 7. 262 days, okay. Renowned across Galarian, the kingdom has gained a substantial reputation, is now well known across Galarian. Some might view the rising kingdom in the Stolen Lands as a potential ally with great potential. Potential with great potential. <laughs> a visitor and a magister. Let's check it out. This is the rank up. Lose loyalty, gain arcane. Oh. We gain 4 community, 4 loyalty, 4 stability. We lose 10 arcane. Unrest state improves, but we get arcane restrictions. The Magister suffers a 2 penalty when attempting to resolve any scenario. Uh, it's a lot of buffs, but... We shall set not needless limits on the freedoms of spellcasters. The allocation demands are not well found. I order the detention decree and set out to regulate the use of magic in the settlements. I mean, this... Role-playing-wise, I would say this is the, the more sensible option. But I don't want her to get a penalty when resolving scenarios. I'll go for this one. Okay, bald hilltop report. 42,000 gold, nice. Your Highness the Wild Hunt has been defeated. Your quick and effective actions left the attackers no hope. Your grateful subjects would like to present you with this humble gift. Another attack awaits, though I doubt it will come soon. I have a feeling that Narissa won't hold back this time. It will be the most terrible blow yet. I only hope we can survive it. I agree with the storyteller. I visited the Bald Hilltop and the portal to the First World is almost stable. It appears that by the time of the next attack, it will be steady enough to become a permanent bridge between Galarian and the First World. The way I see it, we've had enough of being afraid of her. If Narissa wants to attack us herself, then let her come. But she won't, will she? She's going to hide from us, tucked away in the First World until the bitter end. I suggest we deal with her army here and then move immediately to counterattack, before she musters the strength for another invasion. Are you sure this attack will be the last? When you deal with the Fae, you can't be sure of anything. My guess, however, is based more in fact than speculation. Never before has there been a portal to the First World that is so stable. We've also cornered Iris Knight like never before. I'm... I'll bet she's absolutely beside herself. Can we use the portal on the bald hilltop to get to the first world? I suppose so. The portal used to snap shut after every attack, but by now it should be a reliable passage to the first world. It probably is directed to Tannis' lair, wherever that may be. Tristian's face is determined. I agree with your plan. We will enter the portal I helped create and end the war I helped begin. Do you think Tannis will appear personally to command the attack? I bet she won't. It isn't her style. She likes just watching from a distance while she plans her next insidious trick. But I think she's just, she's just plain afraid of us. In any case, first we'll have to repel the attack. The storyteller nods gravely. 
This will be a difficult battle. We shouldn't underestimate the enemy, especially one as cunning as Narissa. You are correct. We shouldn't. Artisan item. Oh, this is the mas this is a masterpiece. This is the masterpiece. Okay, it's gonna go for Cord and Pina, I think. Thank you. Basically, the 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 main item I want now from the artisans is the Rod of Flaming Vengeance. But the lady has given me a scroll and a wand, but is refusing to give me the goddamn rod. Okay, let's look here. So Mirabow. This is a composite longbow. It is a plus 5 enhanced weapon, instead of just a plus 1 that we have on the Devourer of Metal. It does not deal the extra 2d6 acid damage, which we love. Um, but, whenever the wielder of this composite longbow uses it to attack an enemy, Mirrorbow also shoots a reflection arrow at the same target. Reflection arrow is a range attack that deals 1d4 plus half the wielder's strength bonus piercing damage. So, Basically what's happening here is that we are trading uh, raw damage from the Devourer of Metal for better chance to hit, as well as doubling the number of attacks with the Mirror Bow. I'm not going to do simulations to try and figure out what the best damage is. What I can say right now is, we can even compare, right? So the Mirror Bow... We're currently at plus 17, because Devourer of Metal, it deals more damage, but it also applies a penalty to attack bonus. Um, so, if we compare it here, we're at plus 17, we go up to a plus 23. That's a 6 bonus on attack. The damage is lower, of course. It goes from 3 to 22 to 3 to 10. But if it's doubling the amount of arrows, it should also double the amount of critical hits we can deal. The one part that I am kind of sad about is really the strength here. Because I don't have a strength belt. I do get bull strength from the buffs, but it's not, you know, as high maybe as it could be. And I'm also getting a penalty from Maya's Charm. Uh, our enchantment spells are going to be more difficult to resist, but our hits are also going to deal less damage. Now, I'm not going to pretend that it's extremely important to look after the damage that Cordon Pina is dealing with her bow, because the main purpose of this character is not to deal damage with the bow, it's to buff my characters, to cast spells during fights, to heal up my party, that's what we want her for. The damage is just a bonus. In any case, the more damage we can deal, the better for us, right? So, I am going to try out the mirror bow. See how I like it. I'm just removing this one so we don't get encumbered when we get the buff with strength. Um, and that's the only thing we got, right? Yeah, it is. We still don't really have, like, a, a proper quest to go for. Okay. So this is nothing. And here I can send a Kundayo with a coin. And this one we have to wait. Uh, by the way, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but in case anybody is curious, uh, the coins, currently I have 13 available. Uh... The way you gain coins is by ranking up. Every time you rank up um, an advisor, you gain a coin. That's why we're getting replenishment of them. So you can start this. And as for the rank ups, we have a level 8 Magister. Level 7 High Priest, which is busy. Uh, I think I prefer the Magister. I will just do this right now. To see if we get another quest in the meantime. Alright. Awesome. Damn you. Good. Good. What? 
What is that? I I don't actually know what I need. I'm gonna say divine is probably weaker than relations right now. I know that military is kind of high. I'll go for Divine. I think it's my weakest stat. Okay, who are you? Dries Tinvag. A dwarf in worn clothes and a dusky cloak clears his throat before she speaks. Your Honor, I am so happy to be allowed to speak to the King in person. I'm sorry if I sound clumsy. I'm just a common woman, don't know no courtesies. I'm Dries Tinvag, head of a mining crew. I only trouble you to make you a business a business offer. We're good at finding ore. We've been hoping to dig for ore in the River Kingdoms, but there are local laws. The dwarf waves her hand in frustration. It hasn't been easy, you could say. We were about to head out north, but then we heard about your highness. Aren't we lucky? The most criminal lands of the River Kingdoms are now full of order and peace, so I decided to try my luck out here. Dree hesitates and then bows clumsily. Your highness, allow us to set up a camp in your domain. It will be safer under your protection, and you'll benefit from it too. If we discover an ore deposit, we can start mining. Just help us find a spot of land. We're no cheats, we'll do the right thing and sign whatever agreements you got. What do you say? Is this a yes? Uh, I'm just gonna... Exhaust these options here? What are you looking for? Well, we've got to dig in before we know for sure, but I expect we'll find anthracite and iron ore here. Besides, Lumeria is not far away. Who knows what could have fallen from the skies long ago? We could even strike adamantine and be rich. I, I guess. Uh, I'll go for neutral good. I'm glad to give shelter travel seeking a new home. Sure. We got an event as well. Come on, man. Just give me the rod. I just want the rod. Blessed hands. Yeah, sure. Oh. oh, this is on. Turn it off. Oh! <laughs> Plus four to the weather's cast at level when they cast any cure spell. That's fun. Uh, you have... I like this better. I mean, this is obviously better for combat, but this is better for interactions. I'll keep it for now, this one. And let's check out our event. I have to finish the episode soon, but I'm curious as to what this is. The Miners. A group of Dwarven Miners offer to increase the output of mines throughout the whole kingdom. 1 BP per week. I think I actually prefer Jubilos for something different. That's a no. Opportunity, Octavia. Revolution, Valerie. Ooh, God. We had two coins. And going south is Jubilos. We have a lot of time for this. Uh, I was kind of thinking about going for minting coin. But at the same time, I'm not sure if it's worth it. I don't know how much more time we still have in the game. <laughs> That's kind of the issue. It takes 45 days to do this. We would need 5,000 BP in the treasury to get the maximum. And if I have 5,000, why do I need more? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do this. I won't. I will just send you here. Okay, and this one... This one is gonna fail. Yeah, this one will fail. I required one of these. And they are both busy for six days, which means the end of the month is coming, it's gonna fail. Okay, whatever. Uh, go, go, and go. We have two more rank ups. To reach level 10 in Arcane. 
reach level 9 in loyalty. Okay. So... It actually gave me a quest. Interesting. Okay, well... Um, I'm gonna end the episode, my friends. I will have to think about whether I want to go and try and explore the map. Uh, or if I just want to keep ranking up while we wait for further developments. But that will be something for the next episode, I think. Uh, we are doing well thus far. We've picked up a lot of very cool things. Uh, we got the... Um, I can't see my character right now. <laughs> uh, but we got several masterpieces already. Uh, the robe on my main character especially makes me very, very happy. The mirror bow will hopefully be useful on Cordampina. It's not as good as on, let's say, someone like Ekundayo, but it's still possibly a nice item to have. And I think we're doing well in terms of, you know, quests, kingdom management, we're still serene. So don't see any issues right now with our game. Uh, but yeah... As always, my friends, I want to thank you all for being here with me on the channel, watching some Pathfinder Kingmaker. Questions, suggestions, if you just want to say hi, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the, um, the content, consider subscribing for more. Many more videos coming out soon, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone.